Hello children. Today we will talk about our environment. Chapter 13 from your social studies book. What is environment? Environment means surroundings or conditions in which a person or a thing exists and develops his or its characteristics. For example, the environment of a plant refers to all those conditions which help the growth of that particular plant. But the environment is not the same everywhere. For example, let's take a polar bear which lives high up in the mountains in the cold surrounding. If we bring that polar bear to the deserts, Indian deserts, will it be able to survive? No. That's why it, we say that everything has its own environment and environment is not same everywhere. So a polar bear which is used to live in the cold environment cannot survive comfortably in a hot environment. So an environment required for the growth of rice, let's take another example, is different from that required for the growth of wheat. It has been seen that the environment conditions in Punjab are suitable for the growth of wheat, while they are not so in the Kaveri Delta in Tamil Nadu. And likewise, at certain places, environmental conditions are very favorable for the growth of humans, as in the Mediterranean or monsoon regions. On the other hand, they are not so favorable in the desert areas or tundra regions. Environment is sometimes divided into natural and human environment. Natural environment is all gifts of nature such as land, water, air, plants and animals. These things form a part of the natural environment means these are all gifts of God. God has created the animals, the water, the air, the land, plants. These, this natural environment includes of two types of resources, biotic and abiotic. Biotic means it is related to living things like plants and animals, while abiotic related is related to non-living things like rocks, soil, etc. Both types of these natural resources are quite necessary for the existence and development of human beings. Now we come to the human environment. Human beings and their social, religious, economic and cultural activities form a part of the human environment. Man's family, his community, religious activities, educational endeavors, factories, villages, towns, cities, buildings, roads, etc. and also his political activities form an important part of human environment. In fact, both these natural and human components of environment interact with each other and thereby they produce certain changes which create favorable conditions for man to live on this earth. These components of environment are not static. They are subject to different processes of changes which are sometimes slow and sometimes sudden. We now move to the ecological balance. A proper interaction or balance between the natural environment and the human environment is quite necessary for the formation of favorable conditions which is very much needed for the survival of man. Such a balance 
is termed as the ecological balance. Ecological is related to living organisms, their habitat and environment, the way their lifestyle, how they live. Okay. Next, we move to importance of natural environment. We study natural environment. What is environment? Environment is everything around us. Very few people want to live in a desert or a mountainous region because there are there the environment is very harsh it's quite difficult to live in the mountains it is not easy to grow crops in such areas some people do not try to live in such areas because of the harsh climate it's quite cold over there which is either too hot or too cold moreover means of transport are not so easily available in such hostile areas okay that is why such areas are very sparsely populated we have very less population over there on the other hand people would like to live in such places where the land is fertile the climate is pleasant and means of transport and communications are easily available so people would not like to stay in a place where the climate is very harsh it's either too hot or it's very cold you don't get a proper uh, means of communication you cannot travel it's very uh, you know uh, steep if you are staying up in the mountains it's quite difficult to uh, move upwards and come down and then uh, you don't have proper arrangement of facilities for the vehicles to ply and so people would not like to live there and it's quite difficult to grow crops over there on the other hand if the land is fertile people want to stay uh, at the side of the river where the land is fertile they can easily get wa water for irrigation and then in the cities and towns you see in the plains you know, we can easily avail the transport facilities so people would like to stay in such places all right so we end this uh, class here today and in the other video your rest of the chapter will be explained till then stay safe